With one of the first full recovery systems in the industry, the Rogator C-Series has brought sprayer booms to a new level of efficiency, usability, and clean-out. This air pressure-based system provides full system recovery in case of rain-out conditions, prevents hot spots from products sitting in the boom for an extended time and clogging the tips, localizes residual product in the tank for disposal. For a complete recovery, the front reload should have been cleared after the last tank reload. This is done by opening the airline by the front reload manual valve. The vent line then carries the product from the bottom of the front reload to the top of the tank. Full system recovery happens in six stages. Stage one clears out the main shutoff valve line. First, the air pressure control comes from the air box and introduces air into the plumbing. Air is introduced just before the flow meter, then goes up over the boom tree and down through the main shutoff valve to the product recovery boom manual valve. Next, the product is pushed back over the boom tree to the top of the tank, where it's blown back into the tank. Stage two clears out the reload station. With the main shutoff valve closed, air pressure goes to the reload station where the bypass is required to be manually shut. The agitation and electric sump valves close automatically, leaving the only flow path for the air. Gravity and air pressure drain the lines and push the chemical up to the product recovery sump line at the back of the tank. With this valve and the recirculation valve open, product is pushed into the tank. Stage three clears the outer tips of the boom. The main shutoff valve remains closed so air goes through the reload station. With the recirculation valve shut, Air now goes up over the boom tree through the recirculation manual valve. The boom feed control valve is closed, forcing air to pressurize the boom through the lower feed lines. Following on-screen prompts, the operator tilts the booms up and down, starting in the down position. Here, product in the bi-directional pipe feed assembly is pushed to the tip as chemical starts moving back to the tank. Upward movement of the boom moves product from the outer tip across the fold-back hinge point. A final downward movement uses gravity to help recover product in the main feed lines. All product in the booms pass through the main stainless steel plumbing, over the tree and finally through the open product recovery boom valve and into the tank. Stage four finishes clearing the inner boom and main pipe assemblies. Here the main shutoff and boom feed control valves are opened and a new air path is established. The sump product recovery circuit stays pressurized. Now the operator moves the booms down to allow gravity to assist recovery in the main feed pipes. Then the boom is moved up for product recovery in the inner and center pipe assemblies. Stages five and six recover product remaining in the manifold assembly. In stage five, the recirculation valve is quickly opened and closed to recover small residual amounts at the bottom of the tank. Stage six opens the product recovery valve one last time to reclaim any remaining product. Full system recovery is completed in under five minutes and leaves less than 2.5 gallons of product in the entire plumbing system. Recovery can help reduce the effect of product settling which can cause plugging of tips and the risk of improper application. Since the chemical has been returned to the tank, it can be re-agitated to eliminate hot spots before the next application. Full recovery system. 
Another reason the Rogator C-Series sets itself apart as serious machinery for serious results.